five ghosts caught on camera. Turning the tables. Paranormal investigators Jordan and Johnny from the YouTube channel Paranormies were contacted about an old abandoned farmhouse that's said to be extremely haunted. Over the last 70 years, the farmhouse in Steinbeck, Canada has been passed from owner to owner under very mysterious circumstances. In fact, it is said that no one has ever lived in the house for more than two or three years. Rumors began to circulate that the reason that so many people moved from the house was because it was extremely haunted by a demonic presence. New owners claimed to hear unexplained voices and their children woke up screaming, claiming to see the terrifying apparition of what they called, quote, a bad man. And the haunting is not just inside the home. Strange dark figures have been seen in the property's barn. The couple who reached out to the Paranormies team say that they've seen someone staring at them from outside the window on the second floor, which is about 10 to 12 feet off the ground. Eventually, no one wanted to buy this supposedly cursed house, no matter how low the price. The farmhouse has now been abandoned for years. Paranormies team member Jordan sits down in the home's bathroom to do a sensory deprivation session. So while team member Johnny asks questions, Jordan will be blindfolded with headphones blocking out all other sound, except what comes through their spirit box. What happens next shocks them both. Hi, doing sensory deprivation here. We got this camera and this camera. We heard some noises coming from this area while we were kind of just setting up the cameras and it just sounded like it was trying to draw us into this area. So we wanted to do a sensory deprivation here, but we're going to be doing it a little bit differently. Um, Jordan's going to be in here uh, and he's going to be calling it out and I'm going to be wandering around the house so we can kind of just split up and see what we can hear. If you're the one who Stand. scared that couple off, can you make a noise for us? Eat, eat me too. Or give Jordan some answers. Johnny. Did you hear that? What was that? I heard something. It was this light bulb, dude. A light bulb. Look. Oh my God. That wasn't already there? No. Not long after Johnny asked for the spirit to make a sound for them, a light bulb mysteriously falls to the floor right outside the bathroom where Jordan is sitting. When slowed down, you can actually see their static camera capture the moment the light bulb falls to the floor. Now, this could just be a very strange coincidence, but what happens next is a lot harder to explain. While setting up more static cameras, things take a terrifying turn. Okay, yeah, so I kind of want to set up a camera in that corner there, and I want to set up a camera either in this corner or Stop, stop, stop. Dude, what was that? What? Jordan. Jordan. What? Are you okay? Are you okay? Where should we go, dude? I want to get out of here for a minute, dude. A heavy table takes a hard flip over all on its own, and the two investigators are understandably a bit freaked out. But there was something else that happened during this creepy incident. Something you might not have even noticed. There's a lot that was going on during the table um, incident that I think was missed. And for me personally, one of the scariest things, aside from the table being flipped, was hearing the footsteps coming down the stairs. Stop, stop, stop. stop. Something seems to actually run down the wooden stairs and a split second later, the table is flipped over violently. Jordan and Johnny take a break before continuing their investigation. Then they head to the farm's barn. 
The two guys question whether the necrophonic spirit box app they're using is actually working. And they get a very unexpected answer. Is necrophonic real? So it sounds like some... What was that? That's what that was. You throw a box and you say yes, you threw the box. Yeah. So it sounded like you said. Whoa, whoa. What was that? You make something else move. What appears to be a can and a box are thrown across the barn. The Paranormies guys quickly run over to the back of the barn to investigate. But there's no one there. The guys have no idea what could have suddenly launched these objects into the air. Soon after, Jordan and Johnny call it a night and end their investigation. But after uploading their video to YouTube, their viewers were shocked to see something that the Paranormies actually missed while exploring the abandoned farm. Take a very close look. This place, all the like, glass is shattered and stuff. So it's gotta be that window. It'd be that window, and barn, upstairs, find the light back here. Yo, Johnny. What? Yeah, there's a barn back there. Oh, I can't really see it on my camera. Did you see it? What looks like a dark hand can be seen reaching out from the second floor window. This is the same window where the couple claimed that they saw someone looking in at them. So could this be the demonic entity that locals claim haunt the abandoned farmhouse? Did Jordan and Johnny capture evidence of the paranormal activity that has driven past owners away in only a couple of years? Let me know what you think. You can watch this full two-part series and many more scary investigations over on the YouTube channel, Paranormies. Someone or something. Paranormal investigators Tarek, Merrick, and Rimsey from the YouTube channel Paranoiacs travel to a remote abandoned house in the middle of nowhere in Austria. The structure, surrounded by nothing but snow, looks like something straight out of a horror movie. In the dead of night, the three friends brace the icy cold weather to explore the creepy building. They quickly realize that they might not be alone. The paranoiac team hears strange sounds, almost like footsteps coming from the second floor, and soon after a heavy door falls over on its own. They question what they might be dealing with, something paranormal or someone up to no good. The three explorers hear more strange sounds coming from upstairs and they cautiously approach the staircase to check it out. It did not go well. <laughs> Çektim, çektim, çektim, çektim, çektim, çektim, çektim, çektim, çektim, çektim, çektim, çektim, çektim, çektim, çektim, çektim, çektim, çektim, çektim, çektim, çektim, çektim, çektim, çektim, çektim
Resmen üstümüze attılar. Hayır, yolu kapattılar. Abi bence burada var da hiçbir yerde kımıldamaya gerek yok. Abi şunun iğrençliğine bak. Aşırı... As they are debating whether to go upstairs, the decision is made for them as a heavy bed made of straw is thrown down the staircase, blocking their path. The paranoiac team decides that's quite enough of all that, and they just leave the creepy abandoned structure. But once back outside in the freezing snow, they take one last look back at the building. <laughs> Ne oluyor lan? Ben tövbe ya. Şık mı var orada? Az yukarıda da var. Aa, şu Abi bir şey, bir şey var orada. <gülüyor> ne oluyor lan? Abi bak siyah bir şey var. Görüyor mu şunu? <gülüyor> yürü yürü. Bu hiçbir şakası yok. İçeride resmen cin düğünü var. A strange shadow can be seen from one of the upstairs windows. The investigators believe the entity to possibly be a cin. But what do you think? Were the investigators dealing with a dark presence? Is it a homeless squatter who was simply defending his territory? Or is it all just an elaborate hoax? You decide. You can watch this full video and many more creepy explorations over on the YouTube channel, Paranoiacs. If you see a video that you think would be perfect for the top five, or if you have a ghost hunting channel and you caught something great, contact me at nukestop5 at gmail.com. The Ghosts of Petworth Chapel. Paranormal investigators Jeff, Phil, and Mark from the YouTube channel Ghost Tech Paranormal Investigations travel to the abandoned Petworth Chapel in a small village in Sussex, England. In World War II, a German air raid hit a nearby boys' school, and 28 children tragically lost their lives. They were laid to rest in the chapel cemetery. Cut to present day. Locals and visitors to Petworth Chapel say that they have seen and heard the apparitions of children playing in the cemetery. And there is even said to be another ghost haunting the chapel, as many believe that the spirit of the cemetery's loyal longtime groundskeeper still haunts the property. So as Ghost Tech begins their paranormal investigation late one night, Team member Phil experiences something that he just can't explain. Let's be over with that. Someone just pulled my jacket. No. Yeah. I wonder why you moved a bit quick then. Phil says he feels something tug at his jacket. Now, chilling as that might be, unfortunately, the static camera doesn't capture the creepy event. But later into the investigation, when the Ghost Tech team are inside the Petworth Chapel, Jeff takes a few photos, and what he captures is downright chilling. That was strange, that one was all blurred. Don't move, Phil. Something's not right. Jeff takes a picture of Phil, and at first, everything seems normal. Nothing out of the ordinary. But then, a dark mass seems to rise right up out of the ground next to Phil, seemingly reaching out to him. So is it possible that Ghost Tech captured one of the spirits still restlessly wandering the cemetery grounds? Did whatever it was that tugged on Phil's jacket follow him into the chapel? You decide. You can watch this full video and many more investigations of tragic and chilling hauntings over on the YouTube channel, Ghost Tech Paranormal Investigations. And still, Really Haunted. I featured the YouTube channel Really Haunted many times before, and for good reason. YouTuber Lee has uploaded some truly bizarre videos of an ongoing poltergeist haunting that he says is occurring in his home in England.
Now, if you're a regular watcher of this channel, you know I'm not much of a believer in orbs. I think they're usually bugs or dust. But in this case, if you watch closely, you can actually see some sort of orb appear for a split second on screen near the chair right before it violently flips over and breaks into pieces. And amazingly, check out the doggo on the couch. He's not even bothered at all. But maybe living in this house, he's just used to it. But cut to another night and Lee is fast asleep in bed. And then this happens. We can hear heavy thumping footsteps on the floor and then the nightstand suddenly flips over on its own and then something sets off the downstairs burglar alarm. But when Lee checks, there's no one in the house. Lee says that the paranormal activity in his home has gotten so bad that lately his wife and kids have been sleeping in a camper parked outside the house. You can watch more of the crazy paranormal activity that Lee has recorded in his house over on his YouTube channel really haunted. Meanwhile on TikTok, a bus driver in Argentina claims that whenever he reaches the end of his bus route, which happens to be an old graveyard, that he always experiences strange unexplained occurrences that he believes to be paranormal. So he started recording his experiences each time he reached the graveyard and posting them to TikTok. At first he just used the TikTok filter reality ripple effect which allegedly shows ghosts all around you. Detectar las las ondas de calor y estoy acá en el cementerio. Que ya paré la del cementerio. La concha de su madre, ¿qué fue eso? Que se paré la puta que te parió. A ver. No solo la la concha la lora. La puta que te parió. A ver. Eso que no hay nadie. ¿eh? ¿Y eso? ¿Qué onda? ¿Quién sos? ¿Quién sos? Eh, toca el timbre, eh, toca el timbre. Dale, toca el timbre. La puta que te parió, la puta que te Now, it was enough to freak him out and also some of his more superstitious friends. Acá con mi compa. Vení, vení, a ver cómo está el testigo. Mirá, guacho. Hay algo parado ahí. El colectivo de los fantasmas. Mirá. ¡Uh, uh! A ver, amigo. No, no, vení acá, eh, eh. But after he had recorded using the app for a couple of weeks, he says that he had a much more serious encounter when the bus was stopped at the graveyard. An experience that chilled him to his core. La quinta parte, vamos a ver si hoy captamos algo. Oh, la puta que le parió. ¿Qué fue eso? Parecieron como que me encerraron a una ventana. La puta madre. La puta madre, no grabo nunca más acá, eh. Concha su madre. Me, me están abriendo la puerta. Lo, lo vieron, eh. Quedó grabado. Quedó grabado. La concha de su madre. La concha de su madre. Me están abriendo. ¡Ay! ¡La puta que te parió! Yo me voy a la mierda. ¡Ah! La concha de su madre. No, no, no. 
Hijo de la puta que te parió. La puta que te parió. The Argentinian bus driver now seems to have stopped his late night graveyard bus recordings completely. He hasn't recorded any ghost encounters since this last video. TikTok user DadSass says that she and her sister have been experiencing some strange paranormal phenomena in their home. One night when her sister is sleeping, their CCTV camera captures something truly bizarre. So we've been home from the hospital for a while because our kids have RSV. And uh, thank God I have cameras because my sister was sleeping and we caught this f***ing bull****. The family says that they have no pets in the house that could have pulled off the blanket. So I'm not sure what caused this. So uh, let me know what you think. Thanks so much for watching Instagram here, Twitter there, and TikTok, I guess, I guess so. I'll see you next week.